So hello friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss about Siena 8180 Coherent Switching Platform, CSP. So you can see here, this is the self view of the 8180 CSP. So there are total 32 ports that accept pluggable transceiver in 8180 platforms. You can see here, uh, this is port number one to port number eight. This is port number nine to port number 16, port number 17 to port number 24, and port number 25 to port number 32. So these are the 32 ports that accept pluggable transceivers. Each transceiver is hot swappable. It means you can plug in or plug out from the platform without affecting traffic of the adjacent interfaces. You can see here each transceiver can be removed from the platform without impacting traffic running on the adjacent interfaces. Multiple transceivers are supported by the 8180 platform so that it can fulfill the requirement of different needs of wavelength and reach. So suppose uh, this is the port number one to port number eight and we want this port to use for any other wavelength or reach, we can insert in different, uh, different transceivers. So this port can be supported. This port is supported many uh, multiple transceiver types. So this is the beauty of this port. The 8100 uh, chassis occupies two rack unit for this space. All interface cabling connections are located on the base uh, on the front of the chassis. So you can see here uh, as we have already discussed there are 32 ports port number one to port number 32 is qsfp 28 100 gb so you can see here yeah, i'm just uh, showing you this is the port number one port number two i can show you uh, the ports with the numbering what is the number of which port so you can see here port number one two three four five six seven eight port number 17 port number 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 and on the right hand side you can see the port number 9 10 port number 11 12 13 14 15 16 and port number 25 port number 26 port number 27 28 29 30 31 and 32 so this port number 1 to port number 32 is qsfp means it support qsfp 28 that is 100 gb and in between of the left hand side and right hand side ports you can see here there are some more ports uh, you can see here uh, that this is ports are uh, for the access panel so you can see here there is auxiliary port uh, there is island one there is management port there is island two port there is console port there is bits port there is usb port there are clock and one PPS for the synchronization of the devices. And you can see here, this is the LED. So this is the LED of the chassis. And on the downside, you can see this port one, two, three, four. This is not a port, but this is, you can say this is the LED for the FRU port number one, FRU two, FRU three, and FRU four. So these are the LED for these uh, four FRU cards. So in this slide, we will discuss about the ports of CN8180 uh, coherent switching platform. You can see here, this is a self view or you can say the front view of the CN8180 coherent switching platform. So there are total 32 ports which can support 40G or 100G QSFP 20 hertz. And these are the ports. You can see here the ports which are colored in the orange is uh, these 32 ports which can support 40G or 100G. Four cross module slot, you can see here. These are the one, two, three, four course the, uh, module slot, which is known as the FRU one, two, three, four. So these FRU for this four module slot accepts 100G or 200G Wavelogy 5 Nano or one uh, 100G cross 400G Wavelogic AI. C band. You can see here there are some different ports. One cross uh, 10,000 or 100 MB RJ45 management port, management port. You can see here this is the management port. This is one cross serial console. This is the console port uh, whose type is RJ45 or you can say EIA 561 or RJ45. One cross RJ45 aux port. So this is the aux port and this is also uh, RJ45 type. Island 1 and Island 2. These both port is also a uh, type of rg45 one cross usb you can see here this is the one cross usb port one cross rg45 bits in out you can see here this is the bits in out port which is also rg45 
one cross mini coax frequency in or out and one cross mini coax one pps in or out so this is the pps port and this is the clock port which is coaxial cable so this is the ports this is all about the ports in the cn8180 coherent switching platform so in this slide we will discuss about the led status and what is the led meaning and uh, how many types of leds present in cn8180 current switching platform so again you can see here this is a self view and uh, on this part between between the left hand side and the right hand side of the uh, qsfp28 ports there are this this is the part on which you can say these are the leds state leds uh, alarm led psu a led psu view and sync led so these are the five types of led which are present in the cn8180 so what are the led status uh, can be anyone so led status uh, the led status can be anyone on blinking or off so what is the meaning of on the led is uh, light is steady it means on blinking the LED cycles on and off in equal time period if it is blinking and if it is off the LED is off so you can see here the meaning of the LEDs so state I am talking about this state LED so this is the first one so if this LED is off it means indicates an alarm indication if it is green indicates status normal and system is ready if this state LED is blinking green it means system is initializing and performing self test now we are coming on the alarm port so this is the alarms off yellow and blinking yellow these are the three significance which can these uh, these uh, are the indication which can be obtained by this alarm led so if it is off it means normal operation condition indicates yellow means indicates post failure port failure or other error condition like fan failure if it is blinking yellow it means post failure post failure or other error condition LED uh, PSU A PSU B and sync status. So if uh, the PSA LED is off, it means the system is not powered, or there is a failure of the power. If the PSA is green, indicate the power is on and the power supply A is providing 12 volt power to the system. Means this is if the PSA is green, it means uh, the power supply is supplied by the PSA. PSB means power supply B if this is off its system is not powered or failure has occurred on power supply B if it is green indicates the power is on and the power supply B is providing 12 volt power to the system sync if the sync there are four indication for this sync LED off green blinking green and yellow so if it is yellow it means the system is in higher holdover if it is off system is in free run mode if it is green it's normal operation and uh, if it is blinking green it means system is in acquiring progress of synchronization cna8180 coherent switching platform led of the 100 g qsfp ports so these are the 32 ports which is 100 g qsfp ports you can see These are the LED indication. There is a LED indicator to display the port status in each of the QSFP28 pluggable optics port on the 8180. The ports are vertically stacked in banks of two. You can see here these are the port, port 1 and the port 17. The LEDs are labeled with arrow pointing up or down to indicate which port status is being displayed. It means uh, you can see here this is the uh, pointing arrow up and this is the pointing arrow down so pointing arrow up is showing the port number one so the upper port is the port number one and the pointing down is port number 17 so this is for the port indication and the LEDs are also you can see here this is for the link and active so this link act condition is uh, upper arrow is for the upper port and this lower indication for the this is the LED for the lower port so in same way the arrow at top you can see these are the arrow at top pointing up so the indication of the upper port in the arrow at top pointing down so the indication of the 
downward sorry it's wrong wrongly mentioned so the arrow in the bottom pointing up shows the indication of the upper port and the arrow bottom this is the bottom arrow pointing down so the indication of the lower port so this is the led link act so you can see here there are the five indication for this link act led of green blinking green red and yellow off means the port is not in operation there is no link green it's mean indicates a uh, network connection valid network connection blinking green the port is currently receiving or transmitting the ethernet packets red the port is in failure condition yellow indicates maintenance state or line failure cn8180 100 coherent switching platform rj45 port led so the management port uses rj45 connectors and has two built in leds associated with it you can see here they are located at the top of the management port the indication port status and speed rj45 leds for the management port so link act and spd what is the link act meaning and what is the spd meaning so suppose when the link act is off it means the port is not operational when it is green indicates a valid network connection if it is blinking green it means it indicates transmit and receive activity if spd is off it means the port speed is 10 mbps or 100 mbps if spd is yellow port speed is 100 multiplied by 10 means 1000 mbps bits rj45 port led you can see here the rj45 building integrated timing supply bits port has two led status out and in so bits out this is the bits out port and uh, bit, this is the bits port this is the bits out led this is the bits in led suppose bits out led is off it means the port is not provisioned or not active if it is green suppose this bits out is green it means the port is provisioned and enable blinking green it means the port is in maintenance state that is a loop back what is the status of this blink uh, bits in suppose this if in is off it means the known signal is present loss is detected on the receive signal if it is yellow it means the input signal is being received so there are the two indication for the bits in and there are three indication for the bits out led bits out you can see here this is the bits out and this is the bits in modem fru led so this is a self view and these are the four fru modules as you already know fru1 fru2 fru3 fru4 so the 8180 100 has a total four fru slots like the qsfp28 ports each fru slot has a single indicator led to convey the status of the installed fru so what is the uh, condition what is the status of this fru that is conveyed by their leds so for fru 1 2 3 4 there are four leds leds 1 2 3 and 4 you can see here 1 2 3 4 leds so if fru 1 2 3 4 means leds 1 2 3 4 uh, these all the four led has 1 2 3 4 5 indications so what is the indication of off it means the fru is not operational there is no link if it is green it means indicate a valid network connection if it is blinking green indicates a transmit and receive activity fru is transmitting and receiving if it is red fru is in failed condition if it is yellow indicates maintenance state or line failure cn8180 uh, current switching platform dimensions so what are the dimensions you can say uh, this is the width this is the uh, uh, depth this is height This is the weight, 17.42 kg, 20.68 kg, with four wave logic AI modules, no pluggable optical interface. So these are the physical uh, dimensions you can see here. CNI T180 current switching platform ports. Uh, we have already discussed the different type of ports. So the ports are the physical interfaces of the chassis used for carrying network traffic and communication to the system. So you can see here FRU slots. So FRU slots, FRU has four slots. Number of ports four. Aux Aux port has number of one port. Management slot has number of one port. Island one two bits. All these four ports, uh, these four slots have one ports. Console has one. 
and 32 ports so it's for 1 to 32 it's not jan it's, it's, it's a type of mistake so it's a 1 to 34 uh, 32 ports which is for the qsp 28 ports so we have already discussed about the ports and 1 to 30 this is the note important point that 1 to 32 ports are the uni, uni port and these ports must be configured as a uni, uni as they do not support the dynamic gaps so this is the different functionality which we will discuss in later so that's all about the CNA TY81AT uh, CSP. Thank you.